when the death threats began happening. Um, that just took it to a whole nother level that I wasn't expecting. I didn't understand people keying my car and saying these cruel things about me. But then once they threatened my life, it was actually ter- like, I was scared for my life walking through the halls and going to school. Before I was scared of being harassed and bullied and followed, but now the fact that someone might want to hurt me was was terrifying. Their responsibility under the anti-bullying statute, as well as their own protocol, is to keep a safe environment. And yet after each one of these assaults on here, the vandalism, uh, there was never any kind of safety plan put in place. You definitely relate to people that went through it with you. There's not many people in my school that went through it, so it's hard to have people understand the, um, it's hard to have people understand what you go through. Having gone through something as bad as this, it's her goal to make sure that people are aware of this and that school administrators do, should realize that they have an obligation to take affirmative steps to prevent you know, something like this from happening to any of their students. It just needs to be more of an open topic. People try and hide it because it's like embarrassing, which I was embarrassed and I understand.